Well, it's the last day of Labour Party conference here in Liverpool, and it's fair to say the party's in a pretty buoyant mood. Maybe unsurprisingly, given the fact that the Keir Starmer speech seemed to have gone down pretty well, even with his critics focused on ambition, on house building, on sorting out the energy crisis. But also, Labour feel that this is their moment. We heard that, didn't we, from Sir Keir Starmer? And when you look at the opinion polls, the highest they've been for decades. The Labour lead, according to some, up to 17 points. And the very fact that the parties remained almost entirely united during this conference, in contrast to last year. Uh, there is a sense that Keir Starmer has not just taken Labour quite a long way from that 2019 defeat, but the voters out there are starting to listen to the party. Now, there are still big questions, of course, for Labour, not least of all, can they climb that mountain electorally? Uh, they had the worst result they'd seen since the 1930s back in 2019. It is a long way to go. But also, are the public falling in love with Keir Starmer and Labour? Or are they falling out of love with the government? It's quite difficult to work out, essentially. Are Labour doing well because of the government or are they managing to win back uh, voters? Keir Starmer has definitely got a big job still on his hands. But the focus here, as I say, will be one in which they are pretty happy, pretty confident. They do actually think they've got a good shot at the next general election. What's going to happen next is we're going to have some final speeches today from Angela Rayner, Labour's deputy leader, also from Wes Treating, who will take to the stage later on this morning. And then we get a chance to actually interview Sir Keir Starmer. I'll be talking to him at around lunchtime today. You'll be able to watch that this afternoon on GB News.